Hello viewers, and welcome to episode 32 of this, uh, my Let's Play here. Uh, just getting in, turning down the main volume first. Uh, sorry, just getting into, uh, figuring out what I want to do today. Uh, I've been saying it for a long time. I even said it back in episode 25, 24, uh, that I was going to get to upgrading this in episode 25. It's now 32. It's time. Uh, so what I am going to do is I'm going to use uh, logistics pipes um, and it's going to make this uh, probably about, oh, I don't know, one-third the size it is now, which is cool. Uh, it should run really well. Uh, but first I'm going to have to tear it all down. So I'm going to uh, do that off-camera and uh, get all those pieces, uh, keep the pieces I'm going to need, uh, like the machines, uh, themselves, uh, some of the pipes, and uh, I don't even think I'll need these chests. Uh, so I'll be back once I've got all this stuff uh, all taken care of. Okay, so a big component of, uh, of how I'm going to do this is uh, chipsets, um, and I'm need, going to need more of them. Uh, so for that, uh, I'm going to want to speed this uh, process along a little bit, so I'm uh, just going to upgrade this, uh, uh, what I've got down over here in my build craft area, uh, add in some more lasers to make this process hopefully a lot quicker. three engines can't power four, or at least can't power four at full power, but easy solution to that, or engines. So I am going to put these down and see what happens if I do that. Okay, that's going horribly wrong. to make these uh, get these configured properly. I'm just going to turn uh, let's do this. Now that is a um, a diamond chipset, so it is does taking it is taking a lot of power, but you can actually I think it's actually visibly moving up. Uh, right, so all those are now green. So yeah, definitely gonna need to put in another engine. Um, put this where it's not gonna be too much in the way. I think I'm gonna move my switch over one which is probably going to set, turn them all off. And I'm going to need another couple of iron and gates. Um, I think I might even have some in my bag. Iron and gate I do. Which is good, I have to fix that roof. Uh, so we'll be back once I've got the uh, this combustion, another combustion engine. 
this to the crafting the crafting table. Uh, so do I need, need iron gears, which I don't have. I don't think I can craft those. Let's grab my wrench and see what we've got here. Yeah, so I can make stone gears. Can't make iron gears. So I have to teach that to my table. than I'd originally thought when I started uh, recording this, but that's okay. Let's get this obsidian. Grab a bit of iron. Request a stone gear. Let's give it a second for that. There we go. crafting table soon. Just toss that in there for now. And I don't think I have any the supplier. I don't even know if I have any logistics pipes. Golden ore gate, huh? Can, it's going to come in handy. Some. So it's my basic and it's oh, kind of silly of me. Uh, so I'm going to need another crafting logistics pipe. Might as well leave these out right now. the actual uh, sorry I just noticed that in the background that looks so cool anyway uh, so crafting logistics pipe on here and so I'm going to need a piston two gears three iron and a piece of glass which I'm surprised I have. So I'm just going to pop up here and request what I need. Uh, piston. And two of these. combustion engine because I'm going to want to make more of these for when I get the uh, the rest of the power system when I start importing all of that uh, that nice biofuel um, out over that way I'm gonna actually start sending oil out there as well I'm gonna expand that room back over there uh, make it a little nicer and I just saw my engine pop in there this one engine will bump them all up to uh, mm -hmm. okay so it's gonna get real tricky Stopping them. 
So I need an iron and gate on here. And I'm gonna need red pipe wire. a redstone signal. Emit a red pipe signal. And there we go. So those engines are going to have to cool down first, uh, which is unfortunate, but them's the brakes. Hopefully this one pump will be able to supply all three of those engines. I think it should, or all four of those engines. I know it can do three. Um, I might need another uh, another water source, or oh, another pump and water pool to, uh, um, to pump that water in there. But... Uh, at least all of these have, they won't explode, they will shut down if they do get too hot. Um, just right out here. And uh, take care of this big gaping hole in this roof. And my claustrophobia inducing. <laughs> going just those things right now but that'll obviously speed things up quite a bit so I'm going to see got some of those Oops. I'll grab that one for now and hop back over here and start crafting some of the that I need to get going with this. Um, I'm going to need some paper. So I can get that from my reed farm right over here. I had inventory space. Uh, in between last episode. And, right, I want to check on. Uh, looks like my wool farm has uh, broken off the. It's a lot of wool. It's a lot of colored wool. Looks like all of my shears have worn out. So that's why there's nothing else is happening there. I think I turned it off even. Yeah. So I'd have to put in some new. Uh, some new shears and all of those machines before they'd start up again. Uh, right. So, I've got that. Let's make some paper. So what I'm going to need are some modules. So 
Let's start with some blank ones, so that's just some redstone and some gold nuggets and paper. Um, I've got some gold there. I know I have some gold nuggets in here. I only got one. Okay. Never mind. Then. Holy crap, didn't mean to do that. That's okay, I can turn these back into uh, gold bars. Let's try that again. I put 18 and not 63. Okay, I don't even think I'll need that many, but it wouldn't hurt. Um, okay, so I'm going to need two per machine, and I've got four machines plus another two. Final one for the. Um, there's a couple of chests. One for the input chest and one for the output chest. Because it's actually only going to use one chest now. And I do believe I'm going to uh, make up an alchemical chest for that one. I'm going to leave those there. And. See how I'm going to want to. So what I'm going to be using is are these chassis pipes, and I do believe um, I'm going to want to use these golden ones for the most part. Maybe even just the Mark II's, which are iron chipsets. Uh, definitely going to got, going to want one iron chipset or one. Uh, what I think. Definitely don't need it. So, the Mark I chassis, uh, logistics chassis pipe here, uh, has one slot for those modules. The Mark II has two, uh, three, four, and this one down here, this Mark V, has eight. Um, I guess it was built uh, spe uh, specifically for um, a specific map. Uh, that someone was making. Um, that's why it's, you know, a block of gold and f or four blocks of gold and four diamonds. Um, if you really needed it, I guess it'd be worth it, but you could probably get away with, you know, um, maybe even using just two of the Mark IVs at, you know, less than half the amount of diamond and none of the gold. Um, but I'm going to. I'm going to start with, uh, I guess I'll start with these ones here. So I know I'll need at least one of those. Uh, because that will go on the chest. So I do have some iron chipsets already. it's just as easy just to make it out of iron rather than taking the time to iron and redstone and all the kinds of power but I've got all that power so might as well use it right oh yeah there we go all four lasers going blue that's good that's really good that's really quick it's very surprising uh, so I've got three. I think that's all I've got with those. I'll turn that one off. Uh, let's see. Up the 
rest of these machines. Um, I am going to uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to get rid of, you know, I want to move these MFEs as well. Um, so they're unfortunately going to have to get uh, pulled up. And I'm going to lose all that power, but it's not a big deal. I'm not overly worried about it. Uh, I'm just going to toss a bunch of this stuff in here. So we're in lossless mode, so we should be able to just do that. Can you just do that? Those? No. So how do you pull them up? That's. Well, it looks like I'll have to remake those. Oh well. Of a drag, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so that. okay, I'm gonna think about this. I wanna, I'm gonna fill in this hole. Uh, remake that, uh, those couple of, whoa, that's crazy, uh, rebuild those MFEs that, uh, that got wrecked, um, and, uh, I'll be back, see if I can figure it out on this bat box. Ah, okay, so you have to hold down control to, uh, that's just a regular solar panel. Uh, hold down control to actually pull up, um, power storage device with the wrench. Which is, I, uh, yeah, I guess I can see the, the value in that since, um, you said you have to use a wrench to change the button or the, the output face and the input output face. So yeah, I can I can kind of see that. I suppose that's useful. Fortunately, it just cost me some diamonds, but oh well, live and learn. So I'll be back once I've got this uh, filled in and, and organized the way I want. So I just got finished uh, cleaning up this here and looked up and noticed that my light here is on. So that would mean that my quarry right over here is complete its psycho, but it did not move the head up again. Why did it do that? So what I've done is uh, we've got this uh, a full cycle command, which I had to, which I'm still trying to work the the kinks out. Um, but basically, it would it it sets this quarry on, which is just basically that light, uh, runs the dig cycle, um, waits for ten ticks, uh, and once that's done, uh, and then so it's supposed to retract the arm. Uh, and then wait a tick and then quarry off, which will turn the light on, so. So if I do retract arm manually, like that obviously works. So why wouldn't that command work in there? Maybe it's the delay or something while this is still kind of like moving. 
so what I'm going to do is wait for that to come up and then uh, forget that command and try it again with the retract arm command um, and if it doesn't work again then I'm going to manually well not say manually but instead of using the retract arm command I'm just going to tell it to move this up you know to 75 times of that retract arm command does so that way I can you know move the quarry you know in a direction tell it to run the full cycle it'll run its full cycle and by the time when it's done it'll be ready to actually move again uh, so I don't have to uh, come back uh, and just keep moving it um, I've thought about running um, about adding movement into the dig, the dig cycles. Um, I'm not going to do that because I think moving while I wasn't there caused me the problems, the problems the last time. Um, being, you know, the quarry kind of, you know, destroying itself. Just very tragic. Still, still broken up over that. But anyway, back to getting this uh, the system here all set up. So I'll eat those. I still haven't. Made my uh, um, haven't remade the uh, MFEs, but uh, I will in a second. Let's get these machines out. So I'm going to use this here. My client star. Oh, cool. Learn that one. So I'm going to use uh, an alchemical chest. Oh no. Please tell me it went in here. Oh, thank God. So I've heard of a bug where if you leave your Klein Star in here and, you know, um, if you leave it in and then, you know, it can drop underneath of it and you can never get it back. But uh, fortunately, that wasn't the case. It just um, popped out there. So where I'm going to put this, I think I'm going to do it right. So uh, I'm going to want one space back here for the actual um, cables, power cables, because I'm not going to run them from underneath this time. I'm going to run them into the back uh, because I'll have the room to do it. Uh, so, let's see, so I want a, and I want it one block away from this here because I think pipes, you can actually connect a pipe to, to that machine or to that, uh, to that furnace. Uh, so, there's the compressor, right, or remacerator that here, and I want this here, which means I want my chest right here. Uh, I want some levers right at the front. Turn those on. Like so. And my compressor Tractor. Put those right here, like so. Some cable behind them. Like that. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. problem I was having, um, I thought it might have been because of the, uh, um, the, uh, I thought it was the solar panels being right on top of the, where the heck is my bat box? Is it in here? Um, I thought it 
it was related to uh, the power being on top of the bat box like that, but it's actually not. It's uh, it has to do with uh, there we go. Yeah, so it's powering up now, which is good. Apparently, my hand has disappeared. So I need to get my macerator or my uh, MFEs down. Uh, apparently, I'm going to uh, quickly reset so I can see my hand again because that's really distracting. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so just finished crafting uh, my MFEs here. more cables, no big deal. So I think what I'm gonna do is just break these up for now. So we make sure I get these facing down on the first try, maybe not. And hopefully my hand doesn't disappear this time. Oh no. Don't tell me I just did it again. Power into here and into here. Those are charging up. So now I need that uh, one chassis pipe that I made here. Put that there. That one is going to go right there, like so. Um, and you manipulate those with the wrench. But I'm going to need. A. So there's a bunch of different modules I can have here, but the one that I want is this quick sort module, which either takes a diamond gear or a diamond chipset. This one here was cheaper. Uh, this is one diamond. This is obviously four diamonds plus gold and all that other stuff. Uh, so I need some lapis and redstone. I think there's no redstone. So let's just grab a bunch. So I don't need more. Uh, grab a bunch of lapis. I know I'm going to need some cactus green for some of the other ones, but we'll get to that in a minute. And I've got some diamond. Yeah, those things there. Funny, I thought that was three, but that's okay. So a quick sort module. Now I did, I was in my test world trying to figure out how all this worked, you know, playing around with some different things. Couldn't, uh, for the life of me, figure it all out myself. Had to go back to uh, and watch one of uh, Direwolf 20's videos where he did this in his uh, um, in his world. Uh, so. Props to Direwolf20 for understanding how all this stuff works and what these things actually do. Uh, so, the next thing I'm going to need is some uh, item sinks. Um, so that's where I need the cactus green. I have no idea if I have any. Grab my bat pack out of here. And, uh, there's my wrench. I already got rid of it. Since all those are hooked up, I'm just going to try this and see if I have any. I have six. That's not going to cut it. Which cactus? I have ten. 
not going to cut it. Okay, I'm going to sleep through the night. Um, get some cactus. Uh, and uh, I'll be back once I've got some a bunch of cactus green. Um, I'm also going to move my quarry and get that set up as well. Okay, just getting uh, some of these here set. So for so how we do this is uh, in our item uh, so over our macerator in our item sync module we put in the ores uh, the blocks of ore here which uh, I can grab some from here. inventory space. Just toss a bunch of junk in here for now. Uh, so there's tin, iron, copper, is also add a the item sync module here with the default route of true of yes um, so because if we had two um, you know multiple ores coming into here um, they're gonna pop there it's all they're all gonna try and get in and they're gonna bounce it uh, once they can't they're gonna bounce back out and if they don't have anywhere to go they're just gonna drop right out to the top there which we don't want uh, so let's just toss these in there and see if that worked. Yep, I was afraid of that. I'm going to have to move these, uh, this, this MFE either up or down. Probably, I'm going to try moving it. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorient. I'm going to have to move it down. I move it down. Put the um, wire, the the cabling here, and I'm gonna have to move the macerator because I'm gonna need to get the output face facing this way. So I'm gonna have to pull up all these machines again. What a drag! But but I know this video is going long, so I'm gonna try and get through this quickly. Do need to power this up? So I can pull these up. I don't have to spend another eight diamonds. No, I do not. That's good. Get those placed. Get the cables down. Like so. getting those charged up and bat skeleton
module. So I need my ores again. go it's getting macerated up cool uh, I my switches out the front or my levers I should say so basically I do the same thing over here and we also have to put in a there you go I thought I made them maybe I didn't maybe they're still over here uh, no I must have made them I just don't know where they went I thought I had some extractor modules I must have I like just not seeing them. It's the item sink. Extractor modules are blue. Oh, I know where they are. Probably got stuck right here. There they are. I'm not crazy after all. extractor modules. Actually, we're going to upgrade those uh, because that's a rotary macerator and it does uh, it does create items very quickly. We just need our golden chipsets here uh, on top of our extractor modules to make extractor module mark 2. So those will basically just pull items out faster. So like right now we have this dust in there. This isn't working because it has nowhere to put it. Uh, so now this should start taking this out once we configure it to take it out the side. So it's going to take it out and put it into here because this is the default route. And what we can do from here, take out this dust. <coughs> we can add it to here <coughs> and it will get uh, and it will get turned into bars for us <coughs> and again we've got to do the same thing put the extractor mark 2 on there taking the items out for us and putting them back into this chest because there's nowhere else for them to go. And that is that. And so I'm going to basically do the same with, uh, with these here. Um, the extractor and the compressor. Um, and these items here, once they come out, I'm going to, I think, try and send them down here and, uh, and try and get them to come into uh, my sorting chest over here. It's not very far, but I might actually just send it via a uh, this here ender chest. Put an ender chest in here and set the ender chest to the default route or the uh, 
the primary route for everything. I haven't decided yet. Um, but uh, that is going to wrap this up. Uh, I should have time to finish this up uh, off camera. If I make any changes, I'll highlight them. Um, but this video is definitely running long, so I'm going to end it here, and uh, I will stay tuned for next episode, and I'll see you then.